This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Is Apple pitching a cable TV box to cable TV providers? Nokia's first Windows Phone 8 device outed this week? There's only one way to find out. Make yourself a cup of tea, drink it, and then watch our show. You don't need tea leaves, you've got rumors. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Hey, what is going on, everybody? And welcome to You Heard with Purd. Oh, no, wait, that's not it. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup on Revision 3. My name is Noah Kravitz, and this is a smattering of your choicest tech rumors for the week ending today, Friday, August 17th, 2012. This edition of Techno Buffalo and Revision 3 is brought to you by uh, something that actually is no kidding around here. It's very serious. The National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. If you drink and then get behind the wheel, you're stupid and I don't like you. Don't do it. It's selfish, it's dumb, it's dangerous, and somebody's gonna get killed. First off, the Wall Street Journal, amongst others, reporting earlier this week that Apple has been pitching a set-top box to cable providers across this great land known as the United States of Apple, I mean America. Uh, sources reporting earlier this week that Apple has actually been working on a cable TV device for more than two years before the latest generation of Apple TV was released. In other words, they've been working on this thing for a while. Now, if you'll recall in the Walter Isaacson biography of Steve Jobs, uh, Mr. Jobs was famously quoted as saying that he'd finally cracked the code on figuring out a smart TV interface and that he'd come up with something so simple. It was brilliant. Not those exact words, but something to that effect. Even though there were reservations about working with the cable carriers because cable is a regional operation, it's not a nationwide thing. Although, I don't know, don't tell that to Time Warner on Comcast. You figure they just own everything by now. Apple apparently has been working on this device for a few years now or on this interface or on this operating system for multiple devices, whatever it is, set top box, upgrade to the current Apple TV, I don't know how that would work, something baked into existing cable boxes or the mythical Apple television set. Uh, whatever it is, Apple's been working on it. Now the Wall Street Journal is saying that Apple has been talking to cable providers, saying, you know what, if we can't get you to give in to our ways, may as well join you. And instead of doing an end around, building our own database of TV show content and basically just skirting you entirely, We'd rather do what we do best, which is make stylish hardware powered by simple software and sell it for a bajillion dollars. Wall Street Journal also reporting that negotiations on possible deals have stalled because you guessed it, Apple wants somewhere in the neighborhood of 30% off the top for quote certain transactions and the right to an exclusive on providing some sort of technology i don't know it's apple you know they want to be apple they want to make the money that's what they do will we ever see an apple tv will apple tv be coming to your cable box anytime soon you know as they say in the business don't hold your breath but hold your breath. We'll be right back after this. All right, it's almost Labor Day here in the United States, uh, and that means that the police are going to be out in full force starting very soon, actually already, from August 15th, a couple days ago, leading up to uh, September 3rd. The police all over the country are out in full force looking for people who get behind the wheel while impaired. That means if your blood alcohol level is .08 or higher, legally you should not be behind the wheel or operating your motorcycle. What this means to me, and I'm telling this straight to you right now, so listen up. If you've had too much to drink, if you've had a little bit to drink and you're not sure, if you've had a couple of drinks and somebody with you is kind of wondering if maybe, you know, hey man, are you sure you're okay to drive? Just don't do it. I shouldn't say, hey man, man, woman, whatever, it doesn't matter. Don't do it. Getting behind the wheel after you've had too much to drink while you're impaired, while you're wasted, is just flat out stupid. It's selfish, it's wrong. Don't do it, you're an idiot if you get behind the wheel after you've had too much to drink. Best case scenario, you get pulled over, you get your license taken away, you get your car impounded, you get fined. Worst case scenario, you kill people. In 2010, almost a third, 31% of all fatalities, all auto accident related fatalities, involved an alcohol impaired driver. Almost a third of all deaths auto-related, auto-accident-related deaths involved an impaired driver. That's one fatality every 51 minutes. I could say something like, don't be a statistic, I'm just gonna say this. Drinking and driving is stupid, it's dangerous, and it's stupid, don't 
do it. All right, last but certainly not least tonight, while he wasn't busy covering the Galaxy Note 10-1 launch in New York City, our own senior mobile editor, Todd Hasselton, reported on a leaked front display panel part with a Nokia logo on it surfaced earlier this week. And all signs indicate to this being the front panel of a device with a 4.3 inch display that's going to run Windows Phone 8. This should get you excited for two reasons. One, you're a Nokia and or Windows Phone fan and you can't wait for the first Windows Phone 8 devices to come out already. Two, you hate Nokia and you hate Windows Phone 8 and you can't wait for those first devices to come out already so you can laugh at them from your Android or iPhone or whatever it is you use. In any case, September 5th seems to be the date when we're gonna see the first Microsoft and Nokia joint efforts on Windows Phone 8 launched. So keep your eyes appealed, as they say in the uh, bad Italian accent parts of Oakland, apparently, for these new devices. All right. I'm going to say it again because it's important. Don't drink and drive. It's just, it, it, don't do it. There's so many other things you can do. You can not drink. You can get a ride. You can crash at your friend's house where you're drunk. You can sleep in the bathroom or the bar. I don't care. Just don't get behind the wheel. Please. Thank you. All right. Till next time. Thanks to Revision 3 for having us. Don't forget, Techno Buffalo on Rev 3, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for your viewing pleasure and technological, educational stuff. Till next time, my name's Noah. Don't forget to run them up. Woohoo! We'll see you later. Bye bye.